This is verse 10 of the 19th chapter, Gospel of Matthew. Jesus is in a conversation in which the original uh, question was put to him by religious leaders who were trying to trap him in an unanswerable question. It seems that Matthew has shifted the focus now to probably a later private conversation. He doesn't signal that necessarily, but you get the impression that's what's going on. And Jesus, of course, has just established a very high and exacting standard with respect to marriage, that uh, two people come together, a male and a female, and it's a lifelong commitment. Uh, it is uh, not anticipated nor desirable that that uh, relationship should be severed. Uh, and uh, that uh, seems to be, uh, except in the case of immorality, uh, a, a basically rule without an exception. And the disciples here, of course, are concerned about that because they're accustomed to a much more lenient uh, standard in their day. And uh, so apparently in a private conversation they raise the issue. So we have legusen from lego, I say, third person plural. Present active indicative, they say, auto, referring to Jesus, dative singular masculine, indirect object. They say to him, hoi mathetai, the disciples. Some manuscripts include auto, so his disciples say to him, a means if, with the indicative, uh, hutos, if thus, so if it is the case, or if that's the situation, is the idea. Indeclinable adverb, esten, if thus it is. Uh, he itia, this is from itao, which means to ask. Derived from that is the noun form of this, which means if that's the case, uh, the sort of notion of asking a question and getting an answer and that becoming a kind of example, sort of. Uh, is the uh, idea somewhat distant, but <laughs> that's the notion. So if that is the case, the situation, if that is the circumstance, two uh, of the, this is the genitive of the masculine uh, article, anthropu, of the man, if that's the situation of the man, meta, uh, preposition with the uh, genitive means with, with, tes, genitive article, kunaikos, the wife, uh, so if that's the situation, the circumstance that you've described, that it's essentially an inescapable relationship, that's what the disciples are, are really concerned about and apparently somewhat surprised at, uh, then u, the negation sum fere. So uh, fero means to carry. The sun at the beginning uh, means to carry together. And derived from that is the idea of to be expedient, to be uh, preferable even. It's a broad sense of the word, but expediency is the basic idea. So uh, it is not expedient, it's not desirable, it's not a, a good thing. You might say gamasai from gamao uh, means to marry. This is the aorist infinitive. It is good, uh, it is expedient, it is good, preferable for a man not to marry. Uh, they reach kind of the uh, radical opposite conclusion here that if that relationship is that demanding, it's better not to jump in in the first place than to find yourself in an inex inescapable <coughs> relationship that doesn't seem to have an exit. And, uh, of course, Jesus is going to give uh, his response to that, but it does, uh, in, in any event, uh, represent something of the uh, attitudes that were common uh, in the uh, day. Of course, the uh, rabbinic school of Hillel, which was quite liberal, uh, took the view that you could divorce your wife for virtually any reason. A, a meal that wasn't cooked right, or a house that wasn't cleaned up right, or anything like that would be a justification for divorce. Uh, Shammai was more restrictive, certainly, but nevertheless, between the two, there was a fair amount of latitude contemplated, and that appears to be the uh, concern that's reflected here by the disciples. <clears throat>